If you're curious to hear a little music from our guest Carla Lucero, who we spoke to in our most recent episode, check out E4TT's annual concert of music by women and non-binary composers, Midnight Serenades, on January 25th. Welcome to For Good Measure, an interview series celebrating diverse composers and other creative artists, sponsored by a grant from the California Arts Council. I'm Nanette McGinnis, Artistic Executive Director of Ensemble for These Times. In this week's episode, we continue our Da Capo Conversations, a mini-series where we'll be giving familiar segments a topical twist. Today we revisit Angelica Negron's and Erica Oba's perspectives on performing and composing in different genres and whether the genres feel separate or fluid. Here's what Angelica Negron had to say. That's a really good question. I think for a long time I kept those worlds separate and that did not feel right. I was making music with balloon and I was writing very different kind of music for the concert hall and very purposefully separated those worlds and I would say about 12 years ago I started not caring so much about that and about putting things in separate containers and just being more fluid and and embracing the totality of who I am a certain artist as my true self and and that was really liberating so I right now don't think about those six those distinctions um they they pretty much all live together in the same part of my brain and and also what I do in balloon which is collaborative because I'm making music with my best friends it's also a really big part of the work I write for chamber ensembles and orchestras and the work I write for myself to play solo using plants or vegetables um it's it's all, I think, combined and, and infiltrates sometimes in, in ways that I don't even realize until I've had some distance with the music and then come back to it. And then, and then I'm like, oh, that clarinet part is actually, I don't know, something that Nora would play. Um, Nora who plays cuatro and bass in balloon. Um, that's something that Nora could play in a balloon song and come up with that. So I think... Um, I think my experience in those bands has been really formative and really influential in my, in my other compositions for other people. Here's what Erica Oba had to say. I write for, I, I would say until fairly recently, the majority of my composing was for ensembles that I was in. So if that was like a chamber ensemble, I would be writing for whatever chamber group I was in, if I was playing in a more jazz oriented ensemble, um, you know, that, that was more how that my work might be oriented. Um, but I feel like the, uh, you know, the, the people that I'm working with tend to overlap in what they do as well. So I would say, um, it's less a binary between like classically oriented music and jazz oriented music and more like, uh, along the spectrum of improvised music, experimental music, and through composed music. I mean, even when I'm writing for my chamber ensembles, if the performers are game, I'll, you know, often incorporate elements of improvisation. And, uh, you know, if, if, um, if the jazz ensemble I'm in would be game, I might write something like, you know, like a little bit more through composed. So I feel like there's elements of both, regardless of what setting I'm writing for. I think I'm lucky enough to be surrounded by performers who are often, you know, game for anything and uh, willing to experiment or go outside of whatever their normal zones might be. Thank you for listening to Four Good Measures De Capo Conversations, and a special thank you to our guests for joining us today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our podcast by clicking on the subscribe button and support us by sharing it with your friends posting about it on social media, and leaving us a rating and a review. To learn more about E4TT, our concert season online and in the Bay Area, or to make a tax-deductible donation, please visit us at www.e4tt.org. 
This podcast is made possible in part by a grant from the California Arts Council and generous donors like you. Four Good Measures produced by Nanette McGinnis and Ensemble for These Times and designed by Brennan Stokes, with special thanks to co-producer and audio engineer Stephanie M. Newman. Remember to keep supporting equity in the arts and tune in next week for Good Measure.